Well, hello everybody. It's lovely to be able to say hello and that we're really looking forward to seeing you coming back to school next week. For some of you, it's been such a long time. We haven't seen you in, since 20th of March, so that's a long time and we're really looking forward to welcoming you back to school. You'll notice that there are a few changes and I just want to go through some of those with you um, now so that you're prepared and you don't need to worry about anything. There'll be no shocks or surprises when you come back to school. First of all, and this is nothing to do with coronavirus or anything else, you'll notice that there's some work going on on our school roof. That will just continue. It's been going on over the summer holidays. It will continue, but it won't get in your way. Um, it'll just be going on in the background and you don't need to worry about that. But most of all, thinking about coronavirus, we've got a lot of things in place to make sure that you can stay as safe as we can possibly make it. First of all, you will be in your classrooms, you'll be working in your classrooms and your classes and your phases will be a bubble. That means that you won't have anything to do with anybody from outside that bubble, apart from some adults that may come and go into your classroom. Now the adults will be trying to keep their distance from you and we ask that you try to keep your distance from each other as much as you're able to. And there'll be lots of signs around school to remind you about that. We'll also be encouraging you to wash your hands very frequently and we'll have hand washing stations all over the building. This is a really important thing to be doing to keep you safe. As I say, you'll be working in your classrooms and you remain in those classrooms um, for your lunch times as well and for morning worship. That's to reduce the number of people all coming together and to keep you safe. Playtimes, you'll be out on the playground as normal, but there'll be fewer people um, on, on the playground at a time. That's so that, again, we can keep you in those bubbles and keep you as safe as possible. So you might have a different playtime than your sibling or somebody else you know in another year group. And um, don't worry about that. It's just all part of what we're doing to keep you safe. Similarly, lunch times will be different, as will start and finish times. We've sent out details to your parents and carers about the time that you should be arriving and that you should be leaving. That's so that we don't have too many people on the playground at once. If you have any queries about that, then you can email the school on the admin at nsjhall.com email address. And we'll aim to answer any of those questions that, that you've got and to put your minds at rest. There'll be lots of notices around school to just to remind you about the messages about keeping safe. So just have a look at those as you're walking around. Having said that, you won't be in doing an awful lot of moving around school. It will just be your classroom and the toilets and, if necessary, the office for first aid. We're going to ask parents um, to make appointments if they need to come into school, again, to reduce the number of people coming in. And those parents, those visitors, any adult visitors to school will be asked to wear a face covering. That's something that children and staff don't need to do. The government have been quite clear about the fact that primary school age children don't need to have face coverings. I hope that puts your minds at rest. We're really looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday, Wednesday the 9th of September, especially those children who haven't been in at all um, since March. And we know that you might be a little bit anxious now, but we know that you'll be really happy to be back at school. And we are so looking forward to seeing you. So see you next week, everybody. Bye for now.